welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play the song Don't Let Me Go by Harry Styles. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and let's get started. So we're first going to get started with our introduction, which is section one and section two. And I'm so sorry to say you guys, I literally hate to say it, but we're going to have to divide each of those sections into three individual parts. So there's going to be part one, part two, and part three for each. So it's going to go part one, section one, part two, section one, part three, section one. And it's going to be the same way for section two. Okay. So before we completely get started with our introduction, what I kind of want you guys to practice a little bit is, so for all of section one, our right hand is going to be hitting. So it's going to be B flat and E flat in your right hand. And you're going to hit those together. And then you're going to do a little teeter-totter motion of G, then G flat. You're going to go up. So together, then G, G flat. I kind of want you guys just to practice that until you don't have to really think about it anymore. It's just kind of natural. So. Just keep doing that until you're comfortable. So once you guys are ready, we're going to start with part one. So for part one, section one, all you're going to be doing is ringing out E flat in your left hand while you're playing your B flat, E flat together, then your G and your G flat. And I'm going to say there's like numbers for each, but I'm referring to how many times your B flat and E flat are going to hit together. Okay. So for part one, it's going to be four times. So slowly you're going to be hitting your E flat, ringing it out, and then your B flat, E flat, G and G flat. And I'm going to count how many times I hit the B flat and E flat together. And it's going to be four. Okay. One, two, And then you do your G and your G flat before you switch over and hit your B and your E flat again. Okay? So once you're on part two now, you're going to be hitting your B flat. Right? So you're going to move from E flat to B flat. So from E flat, one, two, three, and four. You're going to hit this once for your part two. One, right? And then part three is going to be four times, just like part one, and you're going to be hitting G flat. One, two, three, four. Slowly starting from E flat. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, and four. Again. into section two. Okay, so let's get started with that. So for part one, section two, we're going to be starting exactly where we started off for part one, section one. So on your E flat and then your B flat, E flat, and then G and G flat. So you're going to do this for twice. So you're dividing it in half from four to two. So one, two, and here's where things get a little bit different. I'm sorry, you guys. So instead of being on your E flat, you're instead gonna drop it down to D. So it's gonna go. But kind of an easy way to remember that you're gonna move to D is also your left hand is gonna go from E flat to D. And you do this for two rounds as well, just like part one. Part two and part one are both two times. So one, two, one, two. And then your part three is exactly the same as your part three for section one. So you're gonna go to your G flat. Three and four. Slowly part one, section two, all the way through, okay? So one, two, one, two. Together, so 
section one through section two, you're gonna do this for two whole rounds. So it's gonna go section one, section two, section one, section two, before you jump into your first verse. So let's do section one, section two together, okay? For one round, ready? Starting on your E flat in your left hand. Not too bad, not too bad. So now we're gonna do two rounds of that, okay? So starting on part one, section one. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, one, two, one, two, and three, and four. See, see, that's not too bad. And now we're gonna do real time, okay? So here's what real time is gonna sound like without a pedal, okay? so beautiful you guys do not have to play it that fast you guys can slow it down you can totally go it is so beautiful just like that but here is how the introduction is gonna sound with your pedals I personally love it this way this is my favorite way to play it I just feel I literally feel like Beethoven when I play it like this so starting on part one section one ready I love it. But now we're gonna jump into our first verse. You ready, you guys? I'm so excited. So for your first verse, how I kind of sectioned everything off is I have one and two, right? So can you guys see that one and two? So if we're gonna do everything line by line and we're gonna be switching off. So line one is gonna be section one, okay? So where we're gonna start is part one on E flat. So it's gonna go E flat, that's where you're gonna hit down. Now you were standing is your B flat. Standing there right in front is your G flat. In front of me again. Now you were standing there right in front of me. You go back to E flat for I. I hold on. It's is your D. It's getting harder to breathe is your G flat. Breathe again. Ready? I hold on. It's getting harder to breathe. Those two lines together. Ready? Now you are standing there right in front of me. is 
on your E flat. All of the sudden is your B flat. Sudden these lights are blinding is your G flat. Blinding me. Again, ready? All of the sudden these lights are blinding me. I is your E flat. I never noticed is your D. Noticed how bright they would be is your G flat. B. So starting on I never for E flat. So I never noticed how bright they would be. We're going to do that whole half of the first verse together. Ready? From now you were standing to how bright they would be. Ready? So starting on your E flat. Now you were standing. beautiful that is you guys that is so beautiful and it's really repetitive okay so it's just line one section one and then line two is section two and then line three is section one and then it just continues like that so now we're gonna start on I saw in the corner ready you guys so for I saw it's gonna be your E flat I saw in the corner is your B flat Corner, there is a photograph. That is your G flat. Photograph. Again, ready? I saw in the corner there is a photograph. No is your E flat. No doubt in my mind is D. My mind is a picture of you is your G flat of you. Again, ready? No doubt in my mind it's a picture of you. Those two lines together. I saw in the corner, no doubt in my mind it's a picture of you. Ready? I saw in the corner there is a photograph. No doubt in my mind flat it it lies there uh, alone is your b flat alone in its bed of broken is your g flat broken glass so together it lies there alone in its bed of broken glass this is your e flat this bed was never, is your D. Never made for two, is your G flat. Two. Together slowly. This bed was never made for two. We're going to do, I saw in the corner down made for two, okay? So starting on that E flat. I saw in the corner there is a photograph No doubt in my mind it's a picture of you It lies there alone in its bed of broken glass This bed beautiful you guys so now we're gonna do our whole first verse together okay 
So your whole first verse is gonna sound like this, okay? Starting on that E flat in your left hand. Now you are standing there right in front of me. I hold on, it's getting harder to breathe. All of the sudden, these lights are blinding me. That's not too bad, not too bad, okay? So that is how it sounds slowly, and that is why I was so like, ugh, you know, a little bit crazy about getting your hand motions right for your introduction, because that's exactly how you're gonna be playing it for your first verse, but maybe just a little bit faster if you guys would like. <laughs> See what I mean? So yeah, now we're gonna jump into our pre-chorus. So for your pre-chorus, things are gonna go from individual notes to both hands, okay? So for your right hand, I'll keep my, that is just gonna be C, E flat, F. I'll keep my, I'll keep my, you see what I mean? And then you go eyes, eyes is gonna be, so bear with me, okay? So your left hand is gonna be hitting E flat, and in your right hand you're gonna be hitting C, E flat, and G together. So I'll keep my eyes wide, is so instead of hitting G you're gonna be hitting F now and you're gonna move over from your E flat to your G flat in your left hand so I'll keep my eyes wide see what I'm doing I'll keep my eyes wide and then open Here's where things get a little bit crazy, you guys. So for your left hand, you're gonna be hitting F. And in your right hand, you're gonna be hitting G flat, C, and E flat. So it's gonna go, I'll keep my eyes wide open. It's kind of a big switch up, okay? I'm so sorry about that, you guys. This is how it's played. I know, I know. So, I'll keep my eyes wide open. And then you do that again. I'll keep my arms wide and then open. And then you kind of do something a little bit funky, okay? So, you're gonna do before you jump into your chorus. And what this is, is you're gonna be hitting G flat and E flat in your left hand. And in your right hand, it is B flat, C sharp, and F sharp. And together. It sounds like a broken piano, I know. But that's just how it's played. So slowly we're gonna do that whole pre-chorus together. Ready? I'll keep my eyes wide open. I'll keep my arms wide open. And then you jump into your chorus. So let's get into that. 
So for your chorus, here is where we're gonna do full on chords, okay? So what we're gonna be doing is, don't let me, don't let me. You guys know how that song goes. So we're gonna start with section six. Oh my gosh, that's where we are now, okay? So when it comes to section six, right? So what we're gonna be doing is in our left hand, it is gonna be E flat. In your right hand, it is gonna be G, B flat, and E flat. Like that, okay? So. Don't let me. You see what I'm doing? So E flat, G, B flat, E flat. Don't let me. Then you drop down to your D for both hands, right? So you're going to be hitting D in your left hand and then from E flat down to your D, but your G and your B flat stay the same. So this is your section seven. Don't let me. So together, right? We're going to do six, then seven. Don't let me. Don't let me. And then your don't let me. So don't let me before the go, okay? So this is now your section eight, okay? So what this is gonna do is it's gonna move up to your G flat in your left hand, and then you're gonna have G flat, C, and E flat in your right hand. Don't let me. You see that chord, you guys? So we're gonna do six, seven, eight, and then we're gonna do go separately, okay? Starting on that E flat. Don't let me, don't let me, don't let me, and then go is, so you're gonna drop down from that G flat to F, right? And then in your right hand, you're also gonna move down to F and then G flat and C. So you're gonna keep the last two exactly the same. So go. I don't know if you guys kind of notice, but so your six, like your section six and seven, right? Those are kind of like from your first, you know, from your introduction, how you're dropping down in section two, like, kind of exactly the same thing it's like that idea okay so we're gonna do don't let me don't let me don't let me go together ready so starting on that E flat and then G B flat and E flat except now instead of playing your for your introduction you're now hitting them all together if that kind of makes a little bit more sense okay so Right, so your E flat, then your B flat and E flat again. And then you continue doing your little. So whole chorus together. Ready, you guys? Don't let me. Don't let me. Don't let me go. song is so beautiful you guys I personally love it so much with all my heart oh my gosh 
So that is how you play Don't Let Me Go by Harry Styles. So now let's jump into our slow run through. So for our slow run through, as per usual, none of my feet are gonna be pressing on any of the pedals on the floor. And just one more thing that I wanna add in is I am gonna be going over the second verse, so I'm gonna show you guys what that will look like, okay? So let's jump right into it, ready you guys? So starting on section one, part one. Two. Don't Let Me Go by Harry Styles. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section down below for which songs you guys would like to learn next. As you guys know, this is an intermediate version of this song, so I will have an easy version of it for you guys. 
But yeah, I really hope that it wasn't too hard to learn. I am gonna have each of my sections written out in my description below, so feel free to check that out. And as always, I am going to have my chord chart in my community tab on my channel, but I don't think those stay very long. I think if I just keep posting, they're gonna eventually disappear. So yeah, get it while you can. <laughs> Not that it's like a limited time deal. You guys can always ask me to just upload it again. But yeah, so let me guys, let me know you guys if if you guys have questions, if doing a live stream for it would be better to answer questions so we can go over the whole song together and learn it piece by piece together in real time. So yeah, I love you all. And don't forget, we also have a giveaway coming up for 2,000 subscribers and we're only like 10 away. So yeah, I'm so excited and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please make sure to like and subscribe and I love you all. Bye everyone.